Hey everyone, it's Chloe and Megan from NC Glamour Time. Um, we're going to be doing our empties video. So we're just going to be showing you some products we've used up and whether we would repurchase them or not. So, yep. Let's get started. Okie dokie. Megan. You want me to start? Yeah. Alright. I have a few Megan things here. <laughs> um, what do I want to start with? Let's start with on a positive note. Okay. So Nivea Water Lily um, Shower Gel. I love this stuff. I was quite surprised. I think overall Nivea makes some pretty good body products, but um, it was really nourishing and um, left my skin feeling soft. It smelled really clean and fresh because um, smells important. You can still smell. It smells really nice. I love that. Wow, um, that smells really good. I, it smells like that water fresh smell if that makes any sense at all but, but it's not overwhelming I use it all up and yes I would repurchase this again because for the price too amazing yeah I've never tried any of your body products maybe I will yeah and that smells really they've been good. around for a long time so yeah. they're doing something right so my first empty is the um it's a matrix it's a matrix brand it's the bio lace um, conditioning balm for dry stressed hair um, I just went out on a whim and bought this because I knew nothing about the Matrix products so I thought I'd just try it out um, and I loved it like it the best condition I've ever tried literally it's a thicker consistency than a regular like drugstore um, conditioner but it works amazing you need like a tiny bit a tiny bit goes a mm -hmm. long way basically That's, that is the big difference between professional products too yeah um, no it left my hair feeling so soft and so moisturized mm -hmm. Um, so I would definitely, definitely repurchase this. Okie dokie. Next, um, I have these things. It comes in a box. So it comes like that. Um, the Olay 4-in-1 Facial Claws. I don't clean my face with these on a regular basis, but I love taking them with me when I go somewhere. Um, so I just used up the last, um, last time I was at my parents. And what I love about them is that it's not a moist cloth, so because I don't use them very often, like I've had ones that are pre-moistened and yeah. you open the package and then they dry out before you finish. Like I've had this for over a year, wow. probably like a year and a half and I just take it when I go camping or if I'm just, you know, going somewhere for four days and I don't want to take all my um, face wash and toner and blah, 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 blah. It's just for a few days. It's not going to kill my skin. Uh, but I really like them. You just use water. They lather up really nice. They take everything off so I don't even bring makeup remover. So they you can use it on your eyes too? Yep. Nice. Take everything off and yeah, good. So if you guys are traveling and need something good, put just take a few out, put it in a Ziploc. You don't even need to bring the whole package. Because I know some of the, I've tried some of the Olay um, face wipes and they burnt my eyes. But it says um, sensitive on it, so there's probably not a lot of yeah stuff in it. Mm, I use it on my eyes, it's okay. Nice if time. you are sensy, then maybe stick with a specific eye cleanser, but... But I mean, still, I'm not. you can give it a try. Yeah. I'm not. So my next empty is a body wash from Victoria's Secret. It's the Amber Romance. Um, again, I just went out on a whim and bought it. I was in Victoria's Secret. I was like, I kind of want to try one of these. So I bought it. Um, it was alright. It wasn't anything special. Was it expensive? It was on sale. It was like 3 4 15 or something. Oh, so bad. I was like, I'm just going to try it. Um, it doesn't really lather up the way I like, um, what's it called? Body washes to lather up, so I wasn't really a big fan of it. Also, the scent, like... Better for winter. Yeah. It's very yeah. warm and vanilla yeah. scented. I wouldn't like that in the summer. I just bought it because I wanted to try it, and there were so many to choose from, so yeah. I was like, I'm going to choose an orange one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I, maybe I'll try the other scents, but... Um, there's definitely better body washes out there, mm -hmm. I'd say. Alright, sounds good. Um, Alright, the next thing I have is the Gosh Velvet Foundation Primer. Uh, I used it all up, so I guess it was alright. But I think now that I'm trying the Annabelle Illuminating CC Control Primer thing, um, I find that noticing the difference this sat on top of my skin a lot more and I know it is supposed to just smooth out your pores and everything but it made everything else feel like it was sitting on top now that I'm using the Annabelle one I'm finding that everything is just blending and looking really natural and like a second skin mm -hmm. if that makes sense so 
If you're looking for a cheap primer, like this does make everything last all day and it does smooth out your skin texture, but there's better things out there. So I will not repurchase this again. But it was okay while well, it lasted, I guess. Yeah. So my next empty is the Dior Hydro Life um, Pro Youth Sorbet Cream. So this is basically just the hydrating cream um, for normal combination skin. I wasn't real. I mean, at first when I the first few times I tried it, I was in love with it. It was amazing on my skin. It's not usually the way. <laughs> it's not so good. I was so excited about it, but yeah. then um, I think about two weeks into using it. I started getting all these breakouts on my face and I actually went to Megan I'm like Megan I don't know what's happening why is my face breaking out like that she's like have you used a new cream and I'm like well the Dior one but that was like two weeks ago and she's like that's when you, that's when your skin reacts right that's when you notice a yeah if you're using something it can take acne or pimples up to two weeks to show up on your skin so sometimes if you're breaking out for no reason it's not an instant reaction you have to go back Mm -hmm. you know even up to two weeks to figure out oh yeah I did change my routine and yeah. yeah so yeah I mean it smells really nice and fresh but I definitely wouldn't Little repurchase this like too rich for your skin you think or no I like the like feeling on my skin I loved it but I for don't know for whatever reason you just broke out yeah I don't know what it was your skin it, didn't like it no I mean yeah so for that reason I wouldn't repurchase it mm -hmm. but I mean it's probably a really nice cream for somebody else, so. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. skin's different, so. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, what else do I got? Oh, I have a cream as well. Um, my Hydrophase Light. This is the f third bottle, I think, that I've gone through. So I definitely will repurchase it. It's so nice, especially because, um, I am a drier, normal to drier skin in the winter, so this is when I use this guy. But I use it during the daytime underneath all of my makeup, all of my like primer, foundation, I do the whole shebang because it is a light texture. They do have a thicker texture for a uh, drier skin, but um, I just found it was the perfect consistency underneath all of my makeup and it really hydrates a lot. It's not moisturizing, it's hydrating. Um, so I really like it and I will definitely repurchase it. Uh, I think I'm trying something new out right now, but I would repurchase this for sure. I was actually looking to buying that. I might buy that next. Mm -hmm. I know I Giselle, girl that we work with, Giselle, I think she's also used a yeah. whole bunch of this too. She keeps yeah. buying it. Maybe I'll try that next time. Yeah. So my next empty is the Hello Flawless Oil-Free Oxygen Wow Brightening Makeup by Benefit. Um, Does it, is it still pumping? Yeah, there's a little bit in there, but I okay. bought this last summer so it's way too oh, dark okay. for my face right now so I can't really finish it and I don't know I just don't want to save it until some, like July to use it because mm -hmm. it might be a bit old then um, it was a really good foundation it gives a really nice um, like dewy finish mm -hmm. but not you don't look oily or anything like that mm -hmm. which I like about it um, and it actually gives amazing coverage um, it's a very light consistency would you say um yeah, I think it is. It's yeah, very it doesn't light. feel cakey when yeah. you get it on. Yeah, which I like. Um, I actually just did a um, makeover makeover on a lady with rosacea all over her face, and her whole face was basically red. And she said she wanted to cover that all up, but not look cakey. So um, I decided to use this, and it literally took it all away. Like mm -hmm. you couldn't see any redness in her face. So I was really surprised by it. So it has been since we've gotten it at Shoppers. Like yeah. People, it has been a good seller so and what I like about too. this the line is that there are the lighter colors have a yellow undertone because most of the um, lines that we have I find has a pink undertone yep. in it which I mean people with yellow undertone skin it's not just not gonna work so I really like that about this line so I would definitely recommend it and I'll definitely buy um, a shade that matches my skin <laughs> again so, yeah yeah <laughs> sounds good um, doop -doop 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 -doop. uh, okie dokie. I have, um, Clarins Instant Light Perfecting Touch, and this was, uh, under eye concealer, and it has, um, the brush built into it. I really loved this. I love this more, if you're not going to wear anything and you just need a little bit of concealer under your eyes, this is great. It has little illuminators, so if you do have that darkness, it helps to reflect light so that your eye area looks bright but without having 
the raccoon white look. Yeah. And um, I forget, I don't think it was that hydrating though. So I do love my Hello Flawless, or not Hello Flawless, my um, Fake Up. Fake Up. I do yeah. love my Fake Up more because of the hydration factor because my under eyes are dry. But I still really liked this. As long as, yeah, just put a good moisturizer underneath and if you're not that dry, for sure, I'd, I would Perfect. recommend this to you and I would repurchase this again when I'm not so dry, <laughs> if that ever happens. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a great product. So on the topic of concealers or brighteners, um, I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, eraser for dark circles. Um, the color I got was just a neutralizer, not an actual shade, just because it has the yellow undertone in it, and I have a yellow tone under mm. tone in my skin. So I know that. Yeah, so it worked really well. I love this stuff. It literally covered all my dark circles, all my imperfections, everything. Like, I would definitely repurchase this. Um, I am using a few other <laughs> concealers, so not anytime soon, but I definitely would recommend this, and I will be pur repurchasing this um, in the future. Um, okie dokie. So, clearly, I don't know if you guys can see right, the back of it. right here. Yeah. That's how much of this product I use, because it sucks. It's awful. I used it because it was on sale, so it's always, you know, try something new on sale, great. That way you're not um, putting a lot of money yeah. into it. It has, um, it's a purifying exfoliant from St. Ives with sea kelp and mineral salt. Mm. Having said that, I don't know if it's maybe because my skin is normal, but I found it incredibly drying. Really? Like, so drying. Like, and I'm, my skin felt rough, and I was like, what? I've never had that on my body ever. I was like, what the heck is going on? And then so I switched to a different body wash, cleared up like that. So yep. that's Don't what it buy was. It. Wow. Yeah. Awful. Like itchy. Oh Didn't like it goodness. at all. I've never ever had that before. So yeah, Don't no. buy it. No thanks. So my last empty is the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. This stuff is my holy grail mascara. I'll always go back to this stuff. I am obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. Um I have purchased um, a few drugstore mascaras, so I will, I'm trying to use up all my stuff that I have right now before I repurchase something, um, but we just got some of this in stock at our work, so I might have to buy it just in Again. case. Just in case it, um... Didn't you recently buy one? No. Oh, you had it on hold? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. she was seriously thinking about it. Seriously thinking about it, and I'm going to repurchase it. It's amazing, like... I don't, I don't even know what to say about it. Your lashes look fake. Like, they're just, like, out there. <laughs> Which I love. Mm -hmm. I like the fake um, lash look. Um, so, yeah. I would definitely recommend this. This is an excessive black. I know there's, like, the regular Hypnos mascara, and then there's the Hypnos drama. So, I think the Hypnos drama gives a bit more. Yeah. More drama. Drama. Yeah. Which I love. Hence so. the name. Yeah. On mascara topics, I have two mascaras that are empties. Let me just do both of them right now. <laughs> um, the first one is the Lise Watier Wow, and it has the plastic brush, which, in general, I'm not a fan of the plastic brushes. I just feel like, I feel like they don't separate as well and like really deposit as much. But so this is twofold for me. Um, going on, I really like this product. It feels really slick going on and gives like a nice dark look but having said that I found it's not very buildable so just like a couple coats and then it starts to clump up and it smudges um, I would wear it on the bottom lashes and I would get like black throughout the day wow. not flakes but like smudge so and then on top of that <laughs> it was uh, a lot more difficult to take off like, um, I use the Bioderma makeup remover, and that stuff takes everything off like a breeze, yeah. but I really had to work at getting this stuff off. So, I guess then it's, and I wouldn't recommend mm. it. You know, one pro, maybe, kind of, and yeah, the rest are cons. And then, this is my holy grail. It's just a sample, but um, I have purchased Dior in the past, and if I am to purchase a Dior mascara in the future, it would be the Dior... Um, Seriously, I can't figure this out here. Where are we going? Dior X-Days or Ecstasy, however you'd like to say it. 
and I love this stuff. So the brush on it is kind of rippled and it is a bristle brush not a plastic brush and I was in love with the Dior show and then this came out and it's kind of in between it's in between the Dior show and the Lancome Hypnos. The Hypnos yeah. is pretty slick yeah. the show is a little bit dry so this gives you a really dramatic buildable effect same thing like that yeah. fake lash look love it. Yeah I love that mascara. Yeah love it. Okay. In my face. I think that's all our empties oh. for today. Not mine. I'll just keep going. That's all my empties for today. Megan right. will keep going. <laughs> Megan's tried out more products than I have. It's because I'm older. I need more <laughs> help. <laughs> um, okay, so you can't see. This is a Lise Watte Experience 24-hour um, eye care. So it comes with this one. This is the daytime. Then it comes with the nighttime one. This one kind of has a built-in primer. So if you're really wrinkly, fine lines, that's who this is good for. I used it all up. I did like using it underneath my concealer, however, I do need more hydration than this, so if you are mature and if you have a bit of an oilier skin and don't have a problem with dehydration, definitely recommend this because this will fill in your lines and wrinkles so that your foundation goes on way, way, way better, your concealer too, um, but for me, it just wasn't enough, so I won't repurchase it, but I recommend it um, for the right person. And then two more Clarins. I love me with some Clarins. This was a face powder, and I would just use this as a setting powder. It was from a collection last year, Cotton Flower. They come out with collections every year, though, and I feel like they do the same powder, just with a little bit of a different look. Yeah. It's always the same color. It has, like, a white um, image or imprint, yeah. like a flower imprint in it. And when you swirl it all together, it's just nice and um, illuminating when you put it on. So I just buff it in and makes my skin look real fresh. So actually I've I have bought uh, I have bought them a couple years in a row so I would recommend that. Check out their new collection because I'm sure they have one there. And then I think so. this okay. This is my holy grail as of now foundation. This is like my third bottle that I've gone through. It's the Clarins Everlasting. I do need to put a good moisturizer underneath. Anything long wearing is mm -hmm. a little bit drying. Yeah. But it's got SPF 15. I have literally worn this foundation, I think in one of my tutorials, I had my foundation at like 9 a.m. And it was like 1 a.m. when I did my video and it still looked perfect. So it is super long wearing um, coverage, wow. one coat. I'm using something new right now just to try out and I'm just like, I have to keep building to get the coverage that I get from this guy. Can see it? So, like, I seriously, time. like, I opened it, this is how obsessed, and I was putting a Q-tip in and, like, swirling it around <laughs> trying to get it out. That's how in love I am with this product. So, that's all I I got. really wish I could try Clarence. Um, I know, they're foundation. not dark enough. No. I don't know. It's just funny. I don't know why. Not everyone is Caucasian. Mm -hmm. But. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> super frustrating sometimes. It is. It is. Um, so yeah, yeah, is that all our empties for today? That is all of our empties. I'm sure we will have another empty video soon. Probably <laughs> after the summer. Yeah, because, yeah. and I'm sure we'll have a ton then. Yeah, I got lots of stuff on the go right now. Yeah, me too. And some of it, I can tell you already, I ain't gonna finish it. I think, same with me. Yeah. Same with me. So we'll have a lot to discuss in that video. Um, other than that, other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you in our next video. Yeah, and keep liking, keep sharing, and keep posting below what you want us to mm -hmm. uh, do videos about. Don't forget, like, we do have aesthetic, aesthetics, aesthetics background, so mm -hmm. waxing, facials, um, products at shoppers, new collections, anything. Yeah, even products you want us to review, like a specific one, um, we'll definitely we do We have that. access. We do. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. The ice cream truck is here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <gasps> That'd be hilarious if you hear that in the video. <laughs>